Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Stephen DeMura will offer Gabby Hernandez details on the truce he worked up with E.J. DeMura, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers for Wednesday, July 19. Although Gabby may be suspicious that E.J. would maintain his end of the agreement, she may eventually realize that peace is preferable than all the infighting. Of course, Stefan may be concerned that the truce is already in risk because he sided with Kristen Dimera in allowing Dimitri von Luschner, Peter Port, to dwell at the Dimera mansion. Although E.G. was irritated, it is hoped that this will not derail his intentions for a happy future with Stefan. Gabby may admit to confronting Lai Shin, but will she admit to being armed at the time? Gabby may choose not to hide secrets from Stefan, but as she admits to going that far, he will not be pleased. Gabby, on the other hand, may reveal that she didn't truly have Amo. Gabby, on the other hand, had no intention of harming Lai and nearly wanted to intimidate him into never going for Stefan again. Gabby would almost certainly reveal Lee's use of a matchmaker to Stefan, hoping that this will lead to Lee's true love. It'd go a long way toward curing Lee's Gabby addiction. At the bar, D.A. Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, will be enraged when she realizes she's been paired with Lee, who is clearly not delighted about this adversarial pairing. Fortunately, Lai and Melinda will stick around long enough to find they do have certain interests. It will result in some unexpected flying sparks on Wednesday's episode of Days, so DOOL fans should remain tuned. Meanwhile, Chad Demura, Billy Flynn, and Stephanie Johnson's Abigail Klein romantic evening will be ruined by Alex Kyriakis, Robert Scott Wilson. Day spoilers indicate Alex will show up uninvited at the door with some important news to tell now that they're neighbors. Alex may have to join a matchmaking service as well, as he will embark on a disastrous blind date in the following episodes. Maggie Kyriakis, Suzanne Rogers, will press Justin Kyriakis, Wally Kurth, and Bonnie Kyriakis, Judy Evans, for answers, according to Other Day's spoilers. Maggie will want the dirt once she overhears Bonnie and Justin discussing Sarah Horton's Lindsay Godfrey secret. Although Bonnie will confess that Sarah is holding a secret from her mother, she may not tell Maggie what it is. If they both continue to deceive Maggie about Sarah's pregnancy, Justin may have to back up Bonnie's fake story. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Maggie will be perplexed by Justin and Bonnie's strange behavior, so stay tuned. CDL is the place to go for Days of Our Lives spoilers. Whitley King discussed resigning her job and moving to Arizona with Kayla Johnson, according to the Days of Our Lives spoilers for Monday, July 17. Kayla found it strange that Whitley acted as if nothing had changed since Aid Carver's death. More questions were created when Whitley refused to discuss her exit package and pretended to figure it out on the website. Whitley grabbed Kayla into a short hug and left, explaining that she was utilizing her vacation days for her two-week notice. When Ray Fernandez arrived at Paulina Price's apartment to supervise Lunny Grant's return to jail, he was surprised to find her missing. Rafe and Paulina ended up checking around the park where Lamy was last seen, but she was nowhere to be found. Rafe reassured Paulina that they would find Lani and attempted to calm her down. However, Paulina began blaming Rafe for sleeping with Jada Hunter, Ilya Kanto, because they were too preoccupied with that to find Abe, which escalated into Lani's latest drama. Paulina had a panic attack and sobbed in Rafe's arms as she worked herself up over Lainey, going missing and destroying her opportunity at early release. Rafe drove Paulina to the hospital, where Kayla examined her and determined that she would be all right once she relaxed. Paulina apologized to Rafi for saying such horrible things earlier, but he realized she'd been stressed to the breaking point. When Rafe received a phone call from Lani's Maryland prison, he let it go to voicemail. When Rafe returned the call, he lied about having Lani with him and stated the transport was in the process. 
Rafe told Polina on Monday's episode of Days that he bought them some time and hoped it would be enough. Lunny tried to persuade Aby that she was his daughter and that she needed to get him back home to his family at Whitley's. Because of his amnesia, Aby had no recollection of Lunny and struggled to make sense of what was going on because Whitley had him heavily drugged. Nonetheless, Lunny revealed that Paulina was Nurse Whitley and that the woman in the doctored wedding photo was not Aid's wife. Whitley came home and confronted Lunny before she could get Aid out of there. This resulted in a fight, but Whitley won by drugging Lunny and making her collapse unconscious on the floor. John Black, Drake Hoxton, busted through the door of Jerry Prentice, Terrell Ransom Jr., flat to search it with Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols. Jerry appeared to have taken his suitcase and exited through an open window. Steve and John were perplexed by Jerry's participation in Aby's case, but they were determined to track him down. They discovered a bus timetable with a list of possible locations after discovering a document clogged in Jerry's printer. On Monday's episode of Do All, Bell Brady, Martha Madison, updated Jada on Brady Black's, Eric Martzolf, intention to sign a custody agreement that would persuade Kristen DeMara, Stacey Hayduck, to hand over Rachel Black, Finley Rose Slater. Jada was irritated by Kristen blackmailing Brady into a win, and she knew Rafay would be as well. Although Jada was angry with Sean Brady, Brandon Beamer, for damaging Rafe's career, she eventually accepted responsibility for breaking the rules and knew Raf did as well. On Monday's episode of Days, Kristen was outraged at Brady for ripping up the custody agreement and urged him to sign a new one. Brady said he was calling the shots while he held John's gun over Kristen. Brady said that if Brady refuses to have Kristen in Rachel's life, he might as well take his ex out right now. Rachel overheard Brady and ran into the room, horrified, but Brady insisted he was just scared when she went, and that he'd never do anything to harm anyone. Brady told Kristen that he was going to tell his kid the truth about the kind of person Rachel was after forcing her to wait near the door. Brady was destroying Kristen when Rachel caught him and told him to stop, but he took her out of there as she screamed and shouted out for her mother. Later, Belle arrived to meet Kristen and discovered Brady had taken Kristen back. Kristen wanted Brady to sign a new contract, but Belle warned that there were consequences if he went too far. Brady ordered Rachel to her room before Jada arrived at the townhouse on Monday's episode of Days. Despite Brady's request that Jada arrest Kristen for kidnapping, Jada argued that she was there to arrest Brady. Brady suspected Kristen was responsible, but Rachel ran back out and stated that she was the one who called the cops. Brady will be in major hot water as a result of his recent maneuver, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers, so don't miss out. CDL will have additional scorching spoilers for Days of Our Lives. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.